Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Fino Field in Milford for Ashland Legion Baseball. Tom Nappy alongside Larry Sacklad for 
Game number one of the day as Ashland Post 77 takes on Sandwich Post 188. The winner of this game advances to take on Lawrence in the 730 nightcap. And of course, the loser's season will be over, so it is a must-win game for Ashland Post 77. So we'll see if they're able to get to that second game. Ashland is the away team, so they will bat first. Let's take a look at the post 77 lineup. Leading things off is the left fielder, Kevin Balowitz. Batting second, the center fielder, Brendan Grover. The shortstop, Jackson Hornung, batting third. Dom Cavanaugh hitting cleanup and playing third base. Sean Jewett, the catcher, hitting fifth. Cole Glasper and the second baseman hitting sixth. Sam Farrell, the DH, hitting seventh. Drew Rancatori, the first baseman, hitting eighth. Nick Calabrese, the right fielder, hitting ninth. And that lineup today will be going up against Ben Smith for Sandwich. And with the rest of the Sandwich defense, here is Larry Sacklad. This is the Sandwich lineup. Mike Petit at third base. Nate Coleman at shortstop. Cam Steyer at second base. Tyler Whitaker, first base. John Tropia in left, Zach Landry in center, Chris Pento in right, Alex Burns behind the plate, catching Ben Smith. And there you have it, the sandwich lineup as Kevin Balowitz steps in. He's been hitting pretty well in this state tournament. Ashland three and one overall in the state tournament. They're able to take down Lawrence on Tuesday to get to the championship days. This is right back up the middle, caught by the pitcher. They're starting already with their patient hitting. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon Grover will step in. One pitch, one out. And I think uh, patient hitting will certainly be important today. Couple Four of post 77. Going at it today. Right. Luke Gustafson and Ben Smith, Luke Gustafson of Tufts University. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call, Connor Donovan on camera, Steve Watson will be joining us later in the broadcast. Ashland Allegiant Baseball airing on HCAM in Hopkinton, WACA TV, or HCAT in Holliston. We are the Ashland Legion Baseball Network, that pitch up high. Wind up and the pitch up the right side, and it's gloved by the first baseman, two way. That'll bring up Jackson Hornung, the shortstop. Whitaker uh, was a pitcher against Ashland first go around. Now patrolling first base. It's awful hot up here today, Tom, right? It certainly is. I requested some air conditioning, but obviously you didn't provide any. There's ball one. Jackson Hornung has been really the hero of the tournament for post 77. Last time he faced a lefty was that uh, kid from Somerset. He nearly took his head off when he roped that ball in the center field. Here's the one one. Down low. Two and one on Hornung. Morning overall, 518 batting average, 563 on base percentage. 23 runs driven in, 21 scored. And he'll get a piece of this one over to right field it goes, and that'll drop in for a base hit. Hornung going to try for two, and then he thought twice about it. It'll turn back towards first. A two-out single for Hornung. Yeah, he didn't want to run into the third out, so he had to slam those brakes on. And how about Jackson Horning? He's just hasn't stopped hitting the ball all tournament long. Well, after that game down at the turf field in Hopkinton, he's been hot. Certainly has. So have I, though, haven't I? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. In a different way, though. Well, looks like we're going to have a couple of finesse pitchers for those at home that are tuning in. And I know they're in by the thousands. 
met some today, actually, Tom. Talk to you later on in the game about that. Kavanaugh gets a piece of this one. Left side could be trouble, and that's going to drop in front of the left fielder. Hornung is heading to third. He's going to be waved around. Here he comes. The throw in is cut off, and it's 1 0 post 77. An RBI double for Dom Kavanaugh. He gives a Mookie bet shake out there at, se at second base. I don't know. These kids see stuff on TV and they got to, you know, imitate. Got to imitate the pros, right? Yeah. Sean Jewett will step in. Sean caught a great game the other night against Lawrence. He called a really good game. He's caught great games all tournament long. Of course, Ashland's last game was Tuesday. They beat Lawrence 14 to 6. Nine errors committed by Lawrence in that game. Oh, that was so ugly. It certainly was. Well, you'll put those highlights or low lights, whatever you want to call them, up pretty <laughs> soon, right? Yeah, it will be up. It was like a Swiss cheese defense. Pitch to Jewett is outside. I was looking at the bracket um, hanging by the uh, concession stand. Sandwich hasn't scored a whole lot of runs. I mean, they beat Ashland 2-1, to one, but... They haven't. Uh, they beat, I think... Greenfield or whatever it was one nothing. Jewett was three for five Tuesday Ouch. night, and he gets hit by a pitch here. <laughs> and Kavanaugh looked like he was taken off because he was he was in the process of trying to steal third. Cole Glassburn will step in. He's been hitting the ball well. Glassburn in the last game, he went two for four and was hit by a pitch. Scored a run and drove in a run. Who wasn't hit by a pitch last game? <laughs> Pretty much. Last burn at 378 overall. Gets a piece of this one. A little trickler picked up by the pitcher. Throw to first in time. One to three for out number three. But post 77 plates a run. And they lead it one to nothing as we head to the bottom of the first on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Welcome back to Fino Field, set for the bottom of the first. Let's take a look at the lineup for Sandwich Post 188. Luke Gustafson, the pitcher for Post 77. And the Sandwich lineup is right fielder Chris Perito leading off. Cam Scheuer, the second baseman, batting second. Tyler Whitaker, the first baseman, hitting third. John Tropia, the left fielder, hitting cleanup. Mike Petit, the third baseman, hitting fifth. Alex Soretti Burns, the catcher, is hitting sixth. Nick Hoyer, the DH, hitting seventh. Nate Coleman, the shortstop, hitting eighth. And Zach Landry, the center fielder, hitting ninth for Sandwich Post 188. And with the Post 77 defense, here is Larry Sacklad. Do I have to? Yes. All right. Dom Cavanaugh playing third base today. Jackson Horn on the short. Cole Glasper in the second baseman. Drew Rankin-Torrey at first. Left to right, Kevin Ballowitz, Brandon Grover, Nick Calabrese behind the plate, Sean Jewett catching Luke Gustafson. And we're going to see fastball, curveball, and occasional changeup out of Luke. And he's going to work quick. Catch it, throw it. He certainly will. Temperatures at 85 degrees at game time. Certainly a bright, sunny day. As sun covers most of Fino Field besides an area in right center. There's a swing for strike one by Perito. Tried to hold but could not. Luke was the lonely uh, post 77 player here yesterday uh, while his teammates were on a little league field hitting. He was sitting in the dugout waiting to pitch when the rains came. Oof, that went off the catcher's mask. One and one. I thought it hit the ump. Or the ump's mask, excuse me. That's all right, though. We get paid for that. <laughs> We're volunteer. Well, I'm a volunteer. You get paid to do this. You're the hardest working man in cable TV. Oh, I don't know about that. Connor Donovan is up there, too. Well, all right. Then I'll make him work then. <laughs> we'll go over the field dimensions in just a second. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And that is ball two. Two and one on Perito. Of course, this is the second time of the tournament Post 77 has met up with Sandwich. The last time, it was a two to one loss for Post 77. There's a strike. He's got beautiful breaking pitch, Tom, doesn't he? He certainly does. 
And that late life on the fastball. It's got to be confusing at the headers. What are they going to get? One in the dirt. That's what they get. It'll load up the count. He started off slow against Lowell last time we saw him. He did. Let's see if he's able to pick up the pace for this game. He went six and a third, and Cole Glassburn went the last two thirds of an inning. There's a strike, and out number one. Sean Jewett tagged the hitter just to be sure. We'll have it around the infield. We'll bring up Cam Scheuer, the second baseman. Well, well, with the uh, rain out yesterday, Alex Amalfi available for that, game two. True. But you know what was, it wasn't bad. I mean, I don't feel bad for a sandwich, but they drove all the way up here and had to drive all the way home. Yeah, it's certainly <laughs> rough. <laughs> Over the bridge, up all the way up here, sit in the cars for an hour and a half, and then down Route 3 and over the Sagamore. Yeah, I had the opportunity to talk to a few of the sandwich players yesterday. Seemed like nice guys as it's filed away. Oh, and two. Was it a secret conversation? No, it was just pretty much about how they had to drive all the way up here and go home. <laughs> hey, his breaking pitch is really, really nice and deep. Here's the 0 2. Outside. I don't even want to put the stopwatch on him in between pitches. Sean gives him the fingers and throws it. 1 2 pitch. And this is off the glove of Gustafson. He'll throw the glove, pick up the ball, and doesn't have a play on it. I'm not going to give that an error. That was just an awkward play to try to well, make. His glove's still left on the uh, rubber. Lost his glove. Yeah. That'll bring up Tyler Whitaker. One on, one out. What do you give him? A base hit or an error? I'm giving him a base hit. Okay. We'll have to ask the official scorer what the uh, situation is. Hit or error. That could be your job. Later. All right. I'll, I'll do it. That one's outside. How do you do it? Just say, hey. <laughs> I got to tell you how to communicate now. Yeah, hey. It's been really nice work that we did this year. We've had a good run so since yeah. April. Well, and hopefully the run will continue on to the regionals. Of course, post 77 would have to win both games today. Yeah, but I could throw my thanks in anyway, just in case. Sure you can. I'm not jinxing, but we've been around the block. Lots of places, lots of things. Very true. There's the 1 0 called strike. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, that but all right. <laughs> we'll take it. Hey, what are you blind? We're hoping for a good umpire crew. Now, so far, the umping has been good. Of course, it's early. Checking out first, runner back safe. He had him leaning. If he had thrown that, you know, pickoff throw up the outfield side. He might have had him. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That one is outside. Two and one. Oh, the press parks are starting to fill up. Media. Two one pitch. In there for a strike. Two and two. I don't know. How about you at home? Give me a text if you thought that was a strike. I thought I'd grab the outer corner. Yeah, big corner. <laughs> well, an outside strike zone, so Gustafson's right. going to keep that in mind. Yeah, he's got a 2-2 here. Steps off the back of the rubber. Fouled into the backstop. Count remains 2-2. Two and two. Now... Just think about this since April. We've been to a girls softball Division I state semifinal. Bridgewater, Raynham, Hopkins, right? Yep. Of course, Hiller's Baseball State Championship as this is hit in the air right side caught. Two-way. <laughs> I just got my first text from one of our viewers way outside. <laughs> That'll bring him Sean Tropia, the left fielder. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. 
That was the dad of uh, three sons who were great ball players. E.G. McMillan, Andrew McMillan, and Dawson McMillan. His dad's pretty, pretty good guy too. Two outs in the inning. That pitch is inside. One and oh. The five handicap. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You want to know where he is on a Sunday morning, go down to the backfield in Hopkinton. I shouldn't have said that, should I? <laughs> park <laughs> park and right my park at rec will be down there on Sunday morning. There's a strike. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, we've been at uh, that states and we've been to the zone zone five championship covering Legion all year. Here we are. That's right. State semifinal game. It's been a great year. As this is hit up the right side, picked up by the second baseman, throw to first, no problem. Four to three, four out, number three. We'll move along to the top of the second. Post 77 leading sandwich, one to nothing on the Ashland Legion Ooh, Baseball yeah. Network. <laughs> Top of the second inning, 7, 8, and 9, due up for post 77. Sam Farrell, Drew Rancatori, Nick Calabrese. Well, if it isn't Joanne, the secretary of post 59, she bakes the best brownies in the whole wide world. I agree, absolutely. Chocolatey delicious. Ben Smith deals up high. I guess I broke my promise not to talk about food. Okay, we'll see you for the second game. Sam Farrell, 167 on the season. Gets a piece of this one back to the pitcher. Throw to first, no problem. One to three, four out, number one. That'll bring up Drew Rank and Torrey, the first baseman. I'm not giving you the headset, Steve. You came late. <laughs> Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Smith not particularly overpowering, is he? Nope, but has some good movement on his pitches. That one's up high. Steve Watson now joining us on the broadcast. Did you bring anything with you? Any uh, food or drink? Nope. Not a thing. Up the right side, this is going to trickle into right field, and it's a one-out single for Rankatori. Bleeders, bloopers, CNI singles, we'll take anything we can get today, right, Steve? Yep, we're here just a tad late. You know, we're in health care, the, the patients always come first, so, you know. Well, you know how it is, more right? than a tad, we had a setup. Yeah. Nick Calabrese, the right fielder, steps in. One-nothing lead, four post 77 here in the top of the second. There's a strike. What you missed is we went down memory lane about where, where, where all the places we've been since April. You didn't get lost, did you? A little, little bit <laughs> I did. Larry typically gets lost as this is hit in the air and it's caught by the shortstop. A nice play there by Nate Coleman. It'll bring up Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder. Uh, they're turning the lineup over. Pretty good sign. Got a one to nothing lead. That's what the scoreboard says up there. You are correct. Oof. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. There's Dom Cavanaugh with an RBI double to drive in Jackson Horna. And a fastball, lazy curveball. Nasty breaking pitch there, but up high. One and one. And we had this uh, home plate umpire using the outside corner for way outside pitches, calling strikes. And this is hit in the air, left side foul. One and two. Much like our game on Tuesday, we <laughs> had a lot of the pitches on the outside corner called strikes. But I had one of my moles text me on a outside pitch, and he said, way outside. I got He's got a good view. Balowitz at a 300 on the season, 371 on base percentage. Runner taking off from first as Balowitz follows that one away. Runner will have to retreat. Count remains one and two. Did, but did you see who was stealing? The wounded giraffe might be feeling better. Yeah. That hammy problem. 
gutsy call by Coach O, but lately I haven't seen much evidence of a hamstring problem. Outside. He's been hitting the ball much better and been running well. Well, he was hopping in high school's stolen base leader this year. Not Ben McKenzie. He's taking off again. There's strike three, and that'll be out number three. <laughs> we'll move along to the bottom of the second, post 77, leading one to nothing on the Ashton Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the second inning, a one four post 77, five, six, and seven do up for Sandwich. Mike Petit, Alex Soretti burns the catcher, and Nick Hayer, the DH, to face Luke Gustafson. His third appearance on the mound this season for post 77. Of course, he is double rostered. So he has not had a whole lot of opportunities to pitch for Ashland. But when he has, he has he's been, been very money. good. Absolutely. This is hit foul. He swung at that one because if he didn't, it would have been a called strike. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good point. Yeah. That's my only point of today. I just. And this is fouled away. Same deal with that. Pitch. Same area. <laughs> oh, and two. And if the players know that it, we call the strike, then they'll swing. Right. That's coming right from a, a professional blue. That's right. Let's get him down 0 2. Is he going to throw the yacker? No. Down low. Oh. One and two. Brandon Grover is not playing near the. 520 foot dead center field spot. Which I checked around today, nobody has ever hit one out. This is hit in the air over to center field and it's caught by Grover. One away, that'll bring up Alex Soretti Burns, the catcher. For those who saw the Lawrence game, he really, uh, he really got on his horse and shagged some flies that game. He certainly did. He played good defense. Yeah. <laughs> you hot? No. Okay. This is up the left side foul. Oh, and one. She's freezing up here, Larry. <laughs> oh, she put the heat on. <laughs> yep. Larry's getting a suntan. Steve got yelled at today. I'll, I'll tell you about it in between innings. I mean, you know, Tom. Tom got yelled at. Wind up in the pitch. Wind blowing slightly out towards left field. I'm sure our crack camera uh, cameraman Connor has picked up that flag in the wind. And this is up the left side and caught by Kavanaugh. <laughs> That'll bring up Nick Hayer. Outside. Two outs in the inning. He pitched against post 59. Down low. Wasn't particularly effective, but he pitched nonetheless. Two and oh, the count on Hayer. He was the first baseman in the first game. Whitaker pitched. He takes a strike there. The 2 1. This is up the middle, gloved by Gust of Sin. Throw to first, no problem. 1 to 3, 4 out, number 3. We'll head to the Top of the third, it's a 1-0 post-77 lead on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the third inning, 2, 3, and 4 do up, Grover, Hornung, and Kavanaugh. Brennan Grover grounded out. 
One pitch, one out. And he gets a piece of this one left side, and it is caught. Two pitches, two outs. John Tropia there to make the catch. That'll bring up Jackson Hornan. The dimensions here at Fino Field, the 375 to right. Left field, 346. Left center, 432. As I mentioned, 520 to dead center. Right center, 432. I'm sorry, left center is 416. There you have it. Some big dimensions here at Fino Field. There's a strike to Horna. And there's a field goal post in fair territory as well. Yeah, I've seen balls roll out there, but. There's strike two. Love to see one hit between the uprights. Uh, I think you should get what? like, a, I think that should be an automatic. Get a bazooka, get a bazooka. This is up the left side, foul. But when you go to sleep tonight, have a nice dream. There's never anything gonna go through the goal post here. Jackson Horning scored the only run of the game so far back in the first inning. Dom Cavanaugh drove him in. Gets a piece of this one, slow roller, left side. Picked up by the shortstop, throw not in time. A one-out single for Jackson Hornung. That'll bring up Dom Cavanaugh. Now it would have been a very difficult throw for Coleman to make in time. Jackson's hot. Certainly is. Hornung with a slight lead at first. Wind up and the pitch. Did he hold? Yes. One and O. Oh. Looked like he wanted to pull the trigger on that one, but. He was thinking about it. I thought the umpire was thinking about raising his right hand, but. It's outside. Two and O. Oh. Owen Ward is available today. Should Luke Gustafson run into trouble. He only threw 60 pitches in his outing. He's heading to Europe. Really? Yep. I did my homework before the game, before you arrived. I'm proud of you. Like uh, pregame school. When's he going, though? Uh, this evening. Oh. All right. So he's, he's yeah, he here. can't be here for the second game. Really? That's right. That's a shame. Followed away. And well, when's he coming back? Is he going for a while? Didn't get that deep into the conversation. Oh, okay. Will he be here for... I was just looking for nuggets. I wasn't looking for, <laughs> you know... If they win today, would he be here for regionals? That's what you should have been asking, Larry. Gee, that's why you're an ace reporter. And that's <laughs> this gets by the catcher, a wild pitch. Warning will advance. You wouldn't give him a pass ball? No. I'm giving him a pass ball. I thought that pitch was very wild. He could have got down, blocked it. Three and one. Jeff so Ward, first up, Fino. Next up, you're up. That's quite the uh, travel itinerary, huh? Well, he... Could he make it to Shelby, North Carolina? I mean, or would he stay in France, wherever he's going? Wind up in the pitch, swing and a miss. What part of Europe? Tom. <laughs> so you don't know. You, you don't know what part of Europe. You don't know how Europe's long. Europe's not smaller. You got to. This doesn't sound like part. a. This doesn't sound like a very informative. All right, he's going to Malta. <laughs> <laughs> Macedonia. Act sorry. Now, where is that? <laughs> I don't know. It's a full Somebody text me. They know where Macedonia <laughs> we <need a> map. <laughs> is. <laughs> full count on Kavanaugh, and Alex Sorrenti Burns wants a discussion with Smith. Well, truth be told, I think it's England. Ah. The wall. You think it's England, or yeah. you know it's England? I'm just thinking <laughs> Owen, sort of an English name, Anglo name. So he could be visiting Italy. Could there's be visiting a, the Queen. There's a walk to Kavanaugh. Maybe he's going to see the Eiffel Tower. Oh. Sean Jewett will step in. Do you want to sit next to him? He's, he's sweating. It. He's starting to sweat. It's a good thing that you're not a travel agent, Larry, because you'd have no <laughs> idea where the heck your clients are going. Where oh. am I going? Like, I don't know <laughs> where you're going. <laughs> Some country called Malta. <laughs> Jewett steps in. Two on, one out. Smith deals. Jewett gets a piece of this one, right side foul. Uh, uh, 
Jewett very aggressive at the plate. He was hit by a pitch in his only plate appearance of the game. Shortstop playing a little uh, cat mouse game with Jackson Horning on second base. Gets a piece of this one, pushes it foul. John Jewett is up to a 436. When he started the tournament, his batting average was at a 420. 563 on base percentage. 16 driven in, 14 runs scored. Gets a piece of this one, right side. Picked up by the second baseman, goes to the second for one, and that's all they'll get. And now the runner from third was kind of picked off. He's gonna try to go home and he's tagged out. They double him up. Nuts. Well, another ugly base running mistake there for post 77, and that'll wrap up the top of the third to the bottom of the inning we go. One nothing Ashland on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. The show stop, number 12, Nate. Bottom of the third inning, 8-9 and 1 do up for Sandwich. Nate Coleman, Zach Landry, and Chris Perito. A 1-0 post-77 lead. As Luke Gustafson gets set to work another inning. What's his pitch count at, Luke? I missed it. Oh, I missed it. You miss it too? It's your job, Larry, to get the pitch counts, you know. All right. Trying to get scoop before the game, pitch counts. <laughs> We well, didn't get much of a scoop, I must be honest with you. I'll take that pitch call. Absolutely. <laughs> this kid's a nice little shortstop, this kid Coleman. Here's the 0-1. There's strike two. Hey, Ump, what are you seeing there? I'm seeing a strike. It's been a strike the whole game. I so understand, yep. but what are, you, what are you seeing there? I'm seeing... A Ball hit to center field, and that could be trouble, but it's not. Brandon Grover able to get there, one away. With those high strike calls, Larry, the, the hitter has one of two choices. First, you can make the adjustment in the box, or B, you can cry about it. So, this is, this is the state tournament. Make the adjustment. Yep, if okay. he's calling the high strike, it's, it's on you to make the adjustment. I was talking about the corner, Steve. Zach Landry takes strike oh. one. <laughs> outside corner. That was the outside Some corner. Some of us live there. Okay. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit up the right side. Takes a couple hops, gloved by Glasper, and throw to first. No problem. Two away. Four to three. Four out number two. Chris Burrito will step in. Before I came down here, I had my pregame meal. Just because I got a last, I got a last just in case we go to it. Well, you know, we do have a great concession stand here. So. That's right. That's where Tom was before the game. Yep. Good pick. And, and thanks, Larry, for uh, spotting me a couple bucks <laughs> to get a nice sausage sandwich. And if you want a t-shirt after the game, you want a souvenir of the ball game, I'll get you that too. Oh, what a nice guy. <laughs> get a sausage, pepper, and onions. But I'll tell you, we, I met some viewers today. I, I, actually, that, I actually met some viewers. Let real that, live viewers. Sign some autographs too? Go. No, they didn't ask, but... <laughs> and let that be a lesson, folks. If you come down to Fino, bring some cash. As this is hit in the air, right side, and caught. And that is the third out of the inning. One, two, three, they go again. We will move along to the top of the fourth. one nothing post-77 on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. <laughs> top of the fourth inning, a one nothing lead for post-77. Due up for Ashland is six, seven, and eight. Cole Glasper and Sam Farrell drew rank at Torrey. Sean. So Glasper and steps in. And he gets a piece of this one. Slow roller picked up by the shortstop. Throw to first is in time. Six to three for the out. A faster kid would have made it. <laughs> So that'll bring up Sam Farrell. Farrell steps in. There's a strike. We got a viewer on his boat. Very nice. Boy, does that look inviting. It certainly does. 
to talk about a 10-foot fish they caught. There's strike two to Farrell. So Farrell back in the lineup today is the DH. Yeah, Malfi struggling. Farrell's got some legs. And also, Malfi likely to pitch the second game, so probably... If they get that far. That's right, if they get that far. So they probably want to make sure he's 100% for, for his pitching. Well, let me make this prediction. Luke Gustafson will not be hitting in game two. <laughs> I'd say that's a pretty safe prediction, Larry. I don't think he's got an at-bat this year. Here's the one-two that's fouled away. Um, this game is going along pretty quickly. And the game's going to slow up. Here's the one-two. Oh. Fouled away. Now, if this was a Sox-Yankees game, we'd still be in the top of the first inning. That's right. Speaking of the Sox, they dropped another one to the Rays last night. They're just unwatchable this year. Yep. Not fun. No. And this is up the left side. Takes a couple hops. Glove by Coleman. Throw over. Not in time. Speed kills, they say. A one-out single for Sam Farrell. Drew Rancatori will step in. See what Coach Obid does when he cuts him loose. Although a lefty will keep him a little closer to first. Rancatori singled in the second inning. Drew a pull hitter. Smith deals. Rancatori fouls this one away. Off to the woods it goes, 0 oh and 1. Those are expensive uh, wood balls, they're seven bucks a piece. Yeah, those balls aren't cheap. Yeah. All the teams that are not here have contributed to those baseballs. There's the 0 1, this is fouled away Ooh. back towards us. Farrell returns to first, he took off right on the pitch. So. I met these viewers today. I said, we got to do an above. I got to do a double header today, maybe a double header. I said, what do you mean, double header? I said, state uh, finals down in Fino Feed. Where's that? Milford. There's the 0 2. That pitch outside runner taking off. The throw is off the mark, and Farrell has the stolen bag. I think I predicted that. But anyway, uh, he said, does it. Who for? I said, H cam. He said, oh, you do those games? He said, well, yeah. He said, which one are you? The serious one or the, uh, the uh, I don't know what they were getting. I said, the stupid one? He said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's me. I, I admit it. And this is up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will tag first. Farrell does advance to third. So I was eating this hot dog, this spicy beef hot dog. Tastes just like a sausage, except it's all beef, Frank. This thing is so good, it makes you want to dance. Honest to God. I've been trying to get Tom to try one. He's being obstinate. Here's Nick Calabrese. I will, Larry. I'll, I'll buy you one. There's a strike. Where got is it? It got away it? from the catcher. He couldn't find it. Feral I saw taking it. off. I saw it. So who do I run into? But Robin Malone up there. Never thought in a million years. I have no idea who that is. You gotta hang out at the places that I go to. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> it was right near Hopkinton, a little shack. Can't name it for FCC regulations and purposes. That one gets away from the catcher as well. I don't well. want to be fined, censured, reprimanded. The FCC will come down on me if I happen to name yeah, it. Yeah, we don't need this that. This business right? place. So getting back to the game, Nick right. Calabrese the game. at the plate, a one and one count. Ben Smith set to deal. Farrell at third. Gets a piece of this one, takes a couple hops, picked up by Coleman, throw to first off the mark, and the run scores, 2-0 post-77. Good hustle. An errant throw by the shortstop allows Farrell to score the second run of the day. Hey, we see Balowitz for the third time. I'll bring up Kevin Balowitz, 0 for 2 today. 
First, first error of the game for Sandwich. Wow, he missed that by like a lot. Pulled the string on him. Oh, and one. Runner taking off from first as this is hit in the air over to right center. It's caught. Post 77 does plate another run and they lead it two to nothing as we head to the bottom of the fourth on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the fourth inning, a 2 nothing post-77 lead. Cam Scheuer, Tyler Whitaker, and John Tropia do up for Sandwich post-188. Both of these teams, 3-1 and one in the state tournament. Sandwich took down Milford in their last game. 6-5 to five final in that one to advance to this point. And Ashland took down Lawrence. That's his 38th pitch. And we're in the... Bottom four. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Here's the 0-1. Outside. One and one. I'll come up with a nickname for Gustafson before games end. 1-1 one, one pitch. There's a strike. Getting some good calls by the home plate umpire. They're all consistent. Yeah, keep telling me that. <laughs> One, two, and this is hit in the air right side. That could be trouble, and that is a foul ball. Long run for Calabrese for not, thankfully. Well, you had to do it in case. Set to deliver. When he reaches back for a little extra so far today, he's just not, just not getting that strike. Here's the 2-2. Time called by the hitter. Break up Luke's tempo a little bit. Just outside, full count. So I was talking to Luke before a game, he throws about uh, 86 to 88. That is fouled away. With a drop of about 10 with his breaking pitch. Cow remains full on Scheuer. There's the payoff pitch from Luke. Nothing wrong with that one, strike three. Take a seat, young man. There's some nice pine waiting for you in the dugout. <laughs> Second strikeout of the day for Luke Gustafson. Tyler Whitaker will step in. Well, Steve, it was a nice pitch to yeah. admire, right? And it, it is pine here. Too nice to swing yeah. at. We got real dugouts and real benches. And right. Hard metal like most. This is not like that furniture company that advertises a nice strike on the outside corner all the time. They are comfy seats. I sat in one uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact. And this is up the middle. That'll get through into center field. It went out single for Whitaker. That was legit. Second hit of the game for Sandwich. John Tropia will step in. Well, it was ice cold water. Was. Yeah. Past tense. Yeah. Wind up and the pitch outside. Whitaker's really no threat to steal. Oh 
That pitch inside. And Gustafson having a little control issue this inning. Uh, must be after 5 o'clock. Some fans strolling in. Wind up and the pitch. Or he's going to take a long look at first and check in. Runner back safe. He's practiced that move a few times, I imagine. Mm -hmm. One would think, anyway. Imagine he does that all winter. Here's the 2 0 inside. Gustafson, a freshman over at Tufts. Do you remember the mascot? You know, I don't know how many times I've mentioned it. The Jumbos. The right. Jumbos, that's right. The Jumbos. Yeah. Tommy Leone of Post 59 all last year. I said he's going to be a Jumbo. He's going to be a Jumbo. But the mascot's caricature really looks stupid. <laughs> like a stupid looking elephant. <laughs> It's not even a real elephant, it's just a cartoon elephant. And there's a walk. Two on, one out. We'll bring up Mike Petit, the third baseman. Well, it looks like Gossifson just having trouble trying to work the corners. Well, he's got a two nothing score to work with. Ground ball will be incredible right here. Yeah. Well, there's your ground ball over to the shortstop. Throw to second for one. Throw to first in time. Six, four, three. Master hey, Thomas. <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> That's right. Thanks to Dr. Watson, we're heading on to the top of the fifth. A 2 nothing Bo 77 lead on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the fifth inning, a 2 nothing lead for post 77. Brandon Grover, Jackson Hornung, Dom Cavanaugh to step in. Ben Smith out there for another inning of work. He's pitched pretty well so far. There's a strike. He was up to uh, 59 pitches after the fourth inning. Oh, and two. Nasty breaking ball for strike three. Probably his best breaking pitch of the day. Hey, th thanks for uh, your prediction on the last double play. See? Worked out quite well. But I'll bring up Jackson Hornung, who's 2 4 2 today. <laughs> There's a strike. <laughs> And this is up the middle, and the shortstop is able to glove it, but can't get the throw off, so Hornung's aboard with his third hit of the day. Good little shortstop, as I mentioned before. I'll bring up Dom Cavanaugh. Well, he certainly saved that from going into center field and potentially being a double. No chance on that throw, though. No. no. But he made a great play to even grab that. Yeah. Good range. That can be tough to find. Yep. Yeah. Boy, my viewers are blowing up my phone. Miss, you have Miss a popular over there. You have a lot of fans, Larry. There's a strike. <laughs> they just said the commentary is outstanding. I mean, I know Connor's not one of them, but see, you have see, a lot Steve. Of fans. That, yeah. I didn't type that into my own message. <laughs> the 01 Hornung taking off. That's fouled away. He'll have to retreat. Tom mm. Nappy, Larry Sacklad, Steve Watson on the call. Second time Ash that's happened. For Ashland Legion State Tournament coverage, winner of this game goes to the state championship game tonight at 7.30 against Lawrence. Under the lights. That's right. But that's the second time they've tried to steal with a uh, hit or fouled it off. Hornung with a big lead, the check-in, back safe. Not even close. So we got a viewer that's on a jet aircraft on the way to the ATL, and you know the person. So Tom will just keep his spell bound. Runner taking off. The throw to second is going to be off the mark. Hornung safe. Jackson Hornung oh, has gee. 
stolen a whole lot lately. He almost took himself out of the game the other day when he slid in the third base head first. Yeah, I always get nervous when yeah. I see him stealing. That is a player you cannot afford to head lose. Head first slides are, uh, uh, well. You do it when you need to. I he guess. described his injury and put it that way. It's not suitable for yeah. viewers. <laughs> the one, two. That hit him, but I don't know if nope. the umpire is going to no give contact. him a pass. All right, no contact. Two and two. Oh, look at them. The gesture of uh, sportsmanship. Smith working from the stretch. Lead at second for Hornung. Of course, this is the part of the state tournament where a lot of teams run out of pitching, but having that extra day, day off yeah. is going to help uh, Both teams. Lawrence and Ashland or whoever advances. Sandwich. Could be sandwich. Still a long way to go in this game. A sandwich is a sandwich. And what am I going to say next? A man which is a meal. <laughs> Horning with a big lead at second. Cat and mouse with the shortstop, a bit Horning. And that is fouled away. Count remains two and two. Post 77 has been burnt a couple of times this year with the inside move by the pitcher. Getting picked off second. So those are not included in the game highlights, I assume, right? Well, Tom promised that he was going to put something in the highlights from the other night. Oh, there's still plenty of highlights to come. Don't you worry. There's strike three, according to the umpire. Two away. That'll bring up Sean Jewett. I don't think Kavanaugh liked that call much. Not much. Jewett. Thought about that one for a while, too. Sean Jewett 0 for 1 and was hit by a pitch. Puts this one up the middle into center field. It goes. Hornung being waved around. Here he comes to try to score. The throw is cut off by the pitcher. And it's 3-0 post-77. An RBI single for Sean Jewett. What's the rope for Smith? Four. I guess we'll see. They do have Whitaker available. We'll bring up Cole Glasper in the second baseman. Well, I'm going to save you the... Uh, Suspense. The person that's on the plane is going to a showcase. He pitched for Hopkinton, a lefty. And this is up the right side. Glove by the second baseman. Throw to first, no problem. Is it Fisher? Yes. Four to three. Four out, number three. Post 77 plates another run. It's 3 nothing Ashland as we head to the bottom of the fifth on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the fifth inning, a 3 nothing lead for post 77. Two up for Sandwich is 6, 7, and 8. Alex Sorrenti Burns, Nick Hayer, and Nate Coleman. Well, so far, Luke Gustafson has put these sandwich hitters to sleep, so I think I'm going to name him the Sandman. How's that? Luke Hopefully, you can keep doing it. Yeah, Luke Sandman Gustafson. Is fouled away, 0 oh and 1. So what do you think of uh, the in-between inning music, Tom, as being a uh, late-night uh, music? Uh, <laughs> Phenomenal song. Phenomenal. Fouled away, 0 oh and 2. It's a great dance moves about you, too. No, there was one fan down the yeah, right there, field there line, fan. allegedly. Yeah. yeah, there was. I saw it. It's good stuff. Well, what was the name of the people? People, the name of the group? The, uh, people? the village people. People yes. eat it? Yes. Oh. <laughs> the people. Well, something like that. Right? Too. Well, it's fouled away. The people. <laughs> he, um, if you want to see Tom at uh, 10.30 to 2.30 a.m., I can't name the place because of FCC regulations. He works awful hard, and then he comes down to do a ball game the very next morning. He'll be here by 9 yeah. o'clock. That's right. So he doesn't have to do this stuff. Yeah. He is the hardest working guy in Cape. Yep. Quick turnaround. Working late Friday, then here at I don't know how he does Saturday. it. He honest, puts a full newscast yeah. together. Does about 20 games a week. Oh, thank you, Larry. This is hit in the air, right side, and corn. One away. Can of corn. Here comes Hire. Hire will step in. Hire. 
No, I'm not going to say it. No punning. No more puns for the rest of this game. Or the next game, if there is one. If there's a <laughs> next game, I'm punning the whole game. <laughs> Wind up and the pitch. Outside. Hire is grounded out in his only plate appearance. Ernie Banks used to say, let's play two. Fouled away. One and one. And one of these teams will be playing too. And yeah. it's a gorgeous day for it. it certainly is. We hope we'll be playing way into the night. Outside. Two and one. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. So wow. Went golfing on that. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think you could throw a pitch any lower no. to higher. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> Fouled away. I, 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 I see what you did there, Larry. <laughs> you couldn't throw I, a pitch I, I just couldn't any control lower myself. to higher. <laughs> yeah. I just couldn't control myself. No, you can't. That's where the person at the store said, are you the serious one or the... Whoa. <laughs> the serious one or the ridiculous one? <laughs> it's like the three suited. No, no, no. It was, she was inferring I had a low IQ. <laughs> Payoff pitch. Fouled away. Count remains full. You know there are levels. Moron, imbecile, idiot. I did not know that. Yeah. Fun fact of the day right That's, there. That is the fun fact of the day. I'm not going to tell you which category I fit into. That's one of the three. I won't answer that because it would be too mean. As this is a slow roller up the middle, picked up by the shortstop. Hornung throws over, and it's in time. Six to three, four out number two. Wow, he made that close. That was a good play there by Jackson Hornung. That'll bring up Nate Coleman. Nice job to re retire higher. I'm sorry, there had to be one last one. Oh, goodness gracious. Coleman has flown out so far in this game. Fouled away. I don't think uh, the Sandman is at the 60 pitch mark yet. Wind up and the pitch. Inside, one and one. You know, Owen Ward threw 60 the other day. I forget which team it was. And as a oh, opposing pitcher, threw like 75. Gustafson deals, swing and a miss. One and two. Whoa. That was a really nice pitch they buried in on the hitter. That's what good pitchers do. Yeah. That's why he's a jumbo. Just outside. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Strike number three. Four out number three. And we will move along to the top of the six. Three nothing post 77 on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the sixth inning, 7, 8, and 9 do up for post 77. Sam Farrell, Drew Rancatori, and Nick Calabrese to face Ben Smith. 3 nothing post 77 lead. As Farrell takes the first pitch up the middle, gloved by the shortstop throw to first is high and off the mark. Farrell save. That's the identical uh, play he had in his last at bat. Beat out an infield hit. I'm giving that a single. Sure. Drew Rancatori will step in. So how about Sam Farrell, 2 four, 3 today? And that's why you hustle. Yeah, and he swiped second the last time he was on first. Farrell with a pretty significant lead over at first. Post 77 trying to add on some insurance. Mm. There's a strike. Not good.
the 0 1. Strike two. I'll bet you Coach Simos is enjoying this game, whether live or on our live feed. And he got Farrell picked off. Throw over to second. They get him with ease. His comment to me about five or six years ago was every team ought to have a crafty little lefty. So when he strikes you out, you shake your head when you're going back to the dugout saying, how'd that kid get me out? That's pretty rough. Farrell reaches to start off the inning and gets picked off for out number one. A pitch outside. One and two on Rankatori. Watch Rankatori yank a triple down the line. I regret they sent him. I don't think they sent him. I think they caught him sleeping. Well, he was leaning then. I agree with Tom. They caught him leaning. Then you agree with me. He was leaning. And by the time that you realize that it's too late. This is hit foul and out of play. Frank Atari did a nice job staying back on that pitch. That was very tempting. The one, two. Oh, Ooh, that I hit him. got knuckles. Well, you could have had two on if Farrell wasn't picked off, but in any case, Rank Tory's aboard. They'll bring up Nick Calabrese, who drove in a run in the fourth inning. Drove in Sam Farrell after reaching on an error. I like this kid. I think they have him. He's a 2020, I think, or 2021 uh, graduate. 286 on the season for Calabrese, 394 on base percentage. And he rips this one up the right side. Rankatori heads the second, two on, one out. I just got through telling you that I like this kid. I'm gonna bring up Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder. Oh, that pickoff sort of looms large now, right, Tom? Certainly does. Could have been bases loaded, no outs. Well, there's only one down here. We'll see if Balowitz can make the most of it. First pitch inside. Looks like Ben Smith may be starting to struggle a little bit. Yeah, I'd like to hear a little more animation out of the 77 dugout. This game's not over yet. There is some warm-up action for Sandwich outside. Oh, yeah. Is it double-barreled or just single-barreled? Yeah. Single-barreled. Shortstop is just doing circles around second base out there. The 2-0. Inside. Brandon Grover due up next. Shall Balowitz not hit into a double play? There's a strike. Three and one. Outside and he draws the walk. That ought to bring the sandwich manager out. Oh, right on cue. Now bring up Brendan Grover, who's 0 for 3 today. Yeah, he's due. He's due. So I ran into a very nice man today. Uh, nice man. Oh, God. Nice young kid today. Very polite. Couldn't have been more polite. Named Bailey. He's got a brother that's going to play ice hockey this year, oh. he tells me. Yep. His mom, Chrissy, were at the same place I was, where all these fans of H Cam were. Right outside the studio holding well, signs? <laughs> no, they weren't picketing. <laughs> they were watching me eat the um, spicy beef thing. Steve, if you don't like it, I'll pay for your meal. How's that? Sure. All right. That sounds like a deal to me. I would just eat it all and say I didn't nope. like it. I'll buy you both. I'm splurging for lunch. <laughs> what, what a nice guy. <laughs> yeah. Brandon Grover steps in. There's a nice breaking pitch for strike one. Wow, I wanted to hit that one. It came in so slow. But he is due. He's got a huge gap in right center field. 
filed away. 0 oh and 2. He would have rolled that over in a double play. Jackson Hornung due up next. Bases loaded, 1 out. A 3 0 post 77 lead here in the top of the sixth. Time called by Grover. Look at that gap. Swing and a miss, so number two. Doesn't matter, he's not going to get it. I'll bring up Jackson Hornung, who's 3-4-3 three, three today. A trifecta of singles. The left fielder just took four giant steps back. Hornung. Don't swing at the first pitch, don't. Inside. Hornung has also scored two runs. Patience is key here. He could really open things up. The 1-0. Inside, 2-0. That was a pretty good take. Looks like whoever was warming up in the sandwich bullpen is ready. Time called. Smith deals. Hornung hits this one in the air, right side, and it is third caught out. for the third out. And we will head on to the bottom of the sixth. It's a 3 0 post 77 lead on the Ashton Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the sixth inning, 9-1 and 2 do up for Sandwich. Zach Landry, Chris Perito, and Cam Scheuer. To face Luke Gossipson, a 3-0 lead for post-77. We'll get 9-1 and 2 for Sandwich. Well, it's been a very well-pitched game so far by Luke. He's given up no runs, two hits. And he is a couple of K's. Struck out a three. Three? Yeah. There's a strike. Start him off with the heater. That heater's been elusive today. Swing and a miss. So and two. There's your 88. See it and try and hit it. Winner of this game takes on Lawrence in the 7.30 game as this is hit in the air, right side, and did that drop? Nope. It was caught. Wasn't what it a over catch the fence. by yeah. Brendan Grover. He really had to cover a lot of ground to get to that one. He had to run into the shady area over in right center and come way to his left to make the catch. One away, that'll bring up Chris Perito. He can cover some real estate. That kid. I'd say just about all these Ashland outfielders could cover some serious real estate. A lot of speed in that outfield. As this is hit right side in the air, and it's caught by Calabrese two away. Sandwich hitters going to be shaking their heads saying, what the heck? That's the clean version. Cam Scheuer, the second baseman, will step in. Long ride down the Cape. I'm just letting you know. Coming into this inning, Gustafson only threw 69 pitches and has not added too much onto that total so far. Uh, Up the right side, and that's going to get through the glove of Glassburn. A two-out single for Scheuer. It's his second hit of the day. That'll bring up Tyler Whitaker. I mean, Sandwich is running out of time. They got to get something going. They certainly are. They got a kid with a decent speed. Mm. Mm. 
That pitch was lost by Jewett, but he's quickly able to find it. One and oh. Gustafson looks at first and deals. This is up the left side and the left field it goes. Scheuer is going to head up to second. Another two out single there for Tyler Whitaker. That'll bring up John Tropia. No warm up activity for post 77. There will be a bit of a discussion between Sean Jewett and Luke Gustafson as sandwich coach was checking on John Tropia. Six o'clock on the na numbers. The pitch is in there for a strike to Tropia. You didn't think that was a strike, did you? Be honest. That was a maybe a little outside, but. Me too. I'm not complaining. Me too. Whoever inventing texting was a genius. Oh, inside. Did it hit up? No. One and one. Hour and 40 minutes to sandwich in heavy traffic. Just FYI. I'm sure a lot of people making the early getaway down to the Cape for the weekend. There's a called strike, one and two. I was riding down 495. Coming over here, I saw the. <laughs> what? Uh, the uh, <laughs> saw a lot of folks in line to uh, go down the Cape. It was backed up for uh, miles. What was the family, the Waldo family or something, with Chevy Chase on vacation? What was the name of that? The Griswold. Griswold. The Griswold. Was it the Griswold to <laughs> fall over 495? Swing and a miss. Gets oh, away from no, Jewett. No, no. Throw up to first guy. First base occupied, right, Steve? But with two outs, you can run. Oh. So I that, learned something new yeah, today. And it looks like he may have done that intentionally, actually. He may have thought he had, had a better chance of getting to first. So that is the third out of the inning. We'll head on to the top of the seventh. Ashland leading sandwich, three to nothing, here at Fino Field on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Cavanaugh. Top of the seventh inning, four, five, and six to up. Tom Cavanaugh, Sean Jewett, Cole Glassburn. You didn't notice, but there was a gentleman in the press box doing some country line dancing behind you. Very nice. <laughs> it's all about having fun. Yeah. Another media member just dancing away. Kavanaugh one for two on the day with a walk. Had an RBI double in the first. Pitch way outside, one and one. Shout out to Joanne Kavanaugh, Dom's mom from Noel Whaley of Naples, Florida. Her son, Jack Whaley, from Naples, Florida, strike two. Former Hopkins and Hiller, now an ace golfer. The one-two pitch. Strike three, says the home plate umpire, one away. It's twice he's got rung up. Sean Jewett will step in. <laughs> yeah, I told you we got viewers everywhere. 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 And you know what? And th nice this is hit in the air past the reach of the shortstop into left field it goes. A one out single for Jewett who's having a great day at the plate. Two yep. for three and was hit by a pitch. If should uh, post 77 make to the regionals, we will have a European viewer from Malta or Monrovia or wherever I said or Macedonia. Wherever you sent them. Where England, wherever he's from. Mr. Travel Agent, right? Yes, right. Exactly. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Jeez. Are you just guessing or are you just saying that's he's just outside corner? I don't know what you're referring to. That just doesn't look like a strike. This is up the right side, picked up by the second baseman. No, he bobbles it, bobbles it again. Everybody's safe. Which call that? A so Glassburn reaches on the error, and that'll bring up Sam Farrell. 
How do you score that? I'm scoring that in E4. Two E's? The double bubble. I'm scoring it one. What are you scoring? Just one error because the runners did not advance past the, where they would have gone after the first bubble. So That's right. Well, Farrell's been on base the last couple of times. Pair of singles today for Farrell. He has scored a run. Gets a piece of this one. Right side. Foul territory. And it's dropped by the first baseman. E3. Wow. He must have lost it in the sun. It looked like towards the end he was moving around a little bit trying to find it. Well, it did come off a righty's bat, so it might have had some unusual spin to it. But, I mean, Steve, you got to give it an error. Yeah, E3. Yep. Third error of the game for Sandwich. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. The 0 2. Outside. True Rankatori do up next. Mm -hmm. a tea bag in this bottle of water. <laughs> and this is popped up. And it is going to be caught by the second baseman with ease. Two away. And it wouldn't matter if you caught it anyway because the infield fly rule was in fact and called. Correct. Drew Rankatori steps in. I think I got in all my shout outs before the game expired. You sure? Yep. Okay. Yep. Pitch up high, one and oh. Because I know you have a long list of shout outs. Well, you wouldn't believe the text I'm getting. You got a whole notebook here. Whole notebook of contacts. <laughs> Outside. Is oh, no uh, uh, one last person. Hi, Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> the 2 0. -oh. And this is hit foul. Two and one. It's been feast or famine the last few days for Drew, last three games. He hasn't really cut one loose. Called strike. Why are you shaking your head, Steve? I wasn't shaking mine. Oh, okay, it looked like. It's been the same call all day. Okay. Yep, certainly that outside part of the part of the plate is called a strike. Yep. That's fouled away. Two if and it, two. If, if a pitch crosses there, then you should expect it to be called a strike. Yeah, well, I think Drew just made an adjustment. Well, that's what the hitters need to do. Make the adjustment. Wind up in the pitch. And this is hit high in the air over to center field. And it is caught for the third out of the inning. Sandwich will be down to their final three outs as we move along to the bottom of the seventh. Ashland leading three to nothing on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. I just said. Bottom of the seventh inning, five, six, and seven do up. Mike Petit, Alex Ceretti Fern, Sign language. and Nick Hayer to face Luke Gustafson, who's trying to close out this game and move post 77 ahead to the state championship versus Lawrence. I haven't seen the Lawrence buses pull in yet. Wind up and the pitch. This is a slow roller up the middle, picked up by Glasper and throw to first. Got him, out number one. What was that all about? Alex Sorrenti Burns will step in. Well, he, what? He, he lifted his hand like he was asleep. Roman, it was kind of slow motion. Roman. Oh. Continuing with the sandwich, number 11, Max. We have a pinch hitter for Sandwich. It is going to be M Max Roman stepping in. And he takes a strike. Well, you were looking at a phone. A goose flew by. You missed it. Yep, it did. <laughs> it just 
Flew right by. Down low. You just never know what you'll see. That's right. Well, at least it's not mosquitoes yet. Yeah, old right. But, but hey, that, that's why we got that. Oh, that's coming. That handy bug spray, right? That's why we have that here. Or those bounce dryer sheets that uh, you talked so much about. <laughs> the 1-1. One, one. This is ripped up the left side, gloved by Kavanaugh. Two away. Well, Post 77 has played a lot of baseball so far this summer. They certainly have. And just Gustafson is loosey goosey as you could possibly be. Post 77, 21 and 4 overall. One out away from improving to 22 and 4 and going to the state championship. And of course, that game will take place. Right after this one, pretty much. No, oh, they're going to give them a food break, right? I think so. Line the field. And this is fouled away. It'll be a 7.30 state championship game. How do you know? Thanks to the official Massachusetts Senior Legion Twitter account. Uh-huh. Okay. And if it's not on Twitter, it's not official. That's right. The 1-1. One -one. Whoa. And this is hit up the middle into center field, and that is going to drop in front of Grover. Here goes Hayer, and actually he's going to stay at first base. Grover pretty quick to get it in. A two-out single, and that'll bring up Nate Coleman. That just ball just died out there. Well, I think if that ball was a little higher, he, he may have caught that. A uh, pinch runner for higher. Ben Smith, the pitcher, is in the pinch run. Where's Angel Hernandez when you need him? He's a pitcher. He was Still in the game. Still trying to explain He's that mess last week. It wouldn't shock me at all if Smith tries a steal. Pretty significant lead over at first. This is hit in the air, foul territory, and a lucky out Milford of play. fan gets the ball. They get to keep the balls down here? No. Oh, and one. Oh. Nice try, Larry. And no, you do not get a voucher for um, a for for return? something or other. <laughs> well, I know with the Cape Cod League, like, there's some teams down there that, that do that. Yeah, they gave away plastic whistles and plastic yeah, combs. Yeah, stuff like that. Things you get at the carnival. Here's the 01. And this is up the middle, picked up by Glasper, and throw to first, and that'll do it. Ashland Post 77 is moving on to the state championship game versus Lawrence, a 3-0 win over a very good sandwich team. Post 77 now 22-4 and four on the season. What a great win this was against a good sandwich team, Steve. What a great win it was. Fantastic win. Okay. But we got one more to go. That's right. It'll be post-77 against Lawrence in the state championship game. The player of the game, Luke Gustafson. He went the complete game, gave up no runs, and only four, or make that five hits. So a very impressive pitching performance for Luke Gustafson as per he, the usual when even he break a sweat. is on the no, mound. Not really. He, he, he was spot on, really, start to finish. He certainly was, and Jackson Hornung is also worth noting. He went three for four at the plate, scored two runs, and also stole a base. And also uh, Sam Farrell had a pretty good day going two yeah. for four with a run scored and a stolen base. And Sean Jewett as well reached uh, three times. He was hit by a pitch and singled twice, including an RBI single to score Hornung in the fifth inning. But it is a 3-0 win for Ashland Post 77, and the state championship game will be between Ashland Post 17 and Lawrence Post 15. The winner will head to the regionals, and that game is set for a 7.30 p.m. start. So we're gonna wrap things up for now. For Connor Donovan on camera, my broadcast partners, Steve Watson and Larry Sacklett. I'm Tom Nappy. The final score for the final time, Ashland Post 77 takes down Sandwich three to nothing and is moving on to the state championship right here tonight at Fino Field. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll talk to you in about an hour or so.